Welcome back winners, hope you guys are having an amazing day. I am your host, A.M. Aliubi, and welcome back to another AA meeting. Guys, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Super thankful if you do. On this episode, we're gonna talk about how to jig the most aggressive, the meanest, the most hard fighting fish in all of fresh water. That's right, the smallmouth bass. Let's get right into it. So guys, where I fish is the Detroit River. It's the most southern body of water in Ontario and it holds some of the most aggressive smallmouths. Smallmouth fight very hard in general, but there's just something about the river smallmouth that current is always having them on a treadmill. So they're just a little more lean, they're a little more stronger, they fight a little harder. But this video also goes to those who fish smallmouth in lakes such as Lake St. Clair, Lake Erie, etc. This video is pretty much for smallmouth in any body of water. We're gonna go over a few things. We're gonna talk about the gear you need, the baits, the technique you want to use to catch these fish, and we're also gonna talk about what to look for in your body of water. So when jigging for smallmouth, you want a six foot six to seven foot medium heavy action rod with a fast tip. Now what this will do is it'll give you the most maximum amount of sensitivity when you're out there on the water. Use a 25 size reel and you want six to 10 pound braid. If you're looking to get a little more distance in your cast, use a seven foot rod. If you want a little more sensitivity, you can use the six foot six, which is what I like to use. This right here is a St. Croix Premier. I love this rod. It is very good for its price and it's extremely sensitive and light. I also use the Fluger President, a very strong, very reliable reel, like I said, in the 25 size. Now guys, we're going to talk about baits. The baits you want to use for jigging smallmouth is Ned Rigs, Tube Jigs, a jig with a minnow imitation, and last but not least, a jig with a curly tail. These four baits are very lethal when it comes to smallmouth fishing, and if you're fishing in the river with a high current, you want to use a little bit heavier jigs, such as maybe a 5.8 to 3 quarter ounce. If you're fishing stagnant water like in a lake, you'd like to use something more light like a quarter ounce, a half ounce, or smaller. So guys, other awesome techniques for fishing for smallmouth are things like drop shot rigs. Now drop shot rigs are some of my favorites. I know a lot of smallmouth anglers could agree because this presentation simply catches tons of smallmouth. Depending on the depth you're fishing and the amount of current in the body of water that you are fishing, that's going to decide the size of the weight you're going to use. Now a drop shot rig is simply a weight at the bottom and then about 12 inches above you're going to have a hook there. I like to use octopus hooks for my drop shot rigs. You could use any type of plastic guys. I like little flimsy plastics like 4 inch worms. Things that have tons of action and more preferably a bait that has action while it's stationary. So even if you're just keeping it still that bait is still moving around. So guys, drop shot rigs can be used with the same rod that I mentioned earlier, the six foot six to seven foot medium heavies, except with a drop shot rig, you could want a more moderate action rod, something with a little more give. Now guys, something I really love to use is Gobi imitation plastics. The reason being the main course for smallmouth, other than crawfish, is a Gobi. I can't stress enough how much smallmouth love gobies. They go absolutely bananas for them. So guys, use your goby imitation plastics. I know Grumpy Baits makes some really nice ones. There's a lot of other bait manufacturers that make goby imitation baits. You could also implement things such as a bass jig. You know, the same jigs that you would toss for largemouth. Those work as well for smallmouth. Like I said, use something that is acceptable for your body of water if you're fishing deep water or a place with high currents such as the Detroit River or any other river, use a heavier bass jig. 
If you're fishing somewhere with stagnant water or you're fishing shallow water, obviously use a more lighter jig. So now let's talk about how to use this bait and the techniques. So guys, the technique today is simply casting it out, close our bill as soon as, the, as soon as the bait hits the water, reel up all the slack, hold the rod up and wait for that thump. What that thump is, is your bait hitting the bottom. So there, I just felt that thump. I'm gonna reel down on the slack with the reel and lift up with the rod. Reel down the slack with the reel, lift up with the rod. Now as I'm reeling in, I'm lowering my rod. And then I'm using the rod to lift the bait up, waiting for that thump again, boom, there it is. Reel down, lift with the rod, and that's basically all we're doing today. Got him? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Is it not, you gonna flip that one? Oh, no. Yeah, flip her up. Flip her. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. First smallmouth of the day here. Woo! Hold that up. Nice, brother. Right on the green tube, eh? Hell yeah. With that Domo jig. Come on. Open up. There we go. Get your rod up out of there. Nice catch, brother. Thanks, brother. Hell yeah. First smallmouth of the day First here. One. First blood by Tom. Hell yeah. Beautiful fish, too. Oh, yeah. Nice one. All nice, right. brother. Yeah. Woo! Nice job, brother. Right. Hell yeah. I'm gonna throw on some of this Gulp Alive Minnow Scent. Alrighty. Oh, it's a nice smallmouth. Oh. Oh. Come on. Give him time. Bring him in. Oh. That was crazy. That was a fighter. He was a fighter, man. Nice. Yeah. Every time he came up. Hey, yeah. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How are you? Good. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Check them out, guys. <laughs> Fishing with a skateboard? Yeah. What's up, bro? Okay.